What's up Sagittarius? This is going to be your love forecast for the second half of March. This is for my Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I'll put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Saggy, Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of March. Any love messages for my Saggy, Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of March. Okay, Page of Cups, the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands, lovely. Okay, the Hermit card and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay, Sag, so there's a situation here, um, you know, I'm always getting, it's like you're torn between your independence and maybe commitment. Maybe you're a bit torn. Do I want commitment? Do I want to go my own way? Queen of Wands is like, she's very independent kind of an energy. I'm not, not to say that she can't be in a relationship, but she also values her independence. Um, the Four of Wands is marriage. It's about stable relationships. Maybe there is an opportunity to move into that. We have a page of cups, which is an offer. Um, for others of you, you're in a stable relationship, but you might be looking maybe to go your own way or go on a new path. There could be a child in the mix, page of cups energy. Um, look, the queen of wands is very much about sort of just being in your element, being in your power, um, focusing on your passion. So that could be something that you are really tapping into now as we move um, through March. The hermit comes about taking some distance. I mean, for some of you, you could also just be feeling a little bit alone, but maybe feeling like you need to be alone a little bit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for those of you who are already in some kind of a relationship, maybe you're feeling like you need to take some distance or you need to take time out to consider things, to listen to your inner voice about where you wanna go, uh, what's gonna light your fire, a new direction maybe. Um, it could even just be in your work. And for others of you, if there's an opportunity on the table here, for some of you, if you're in a marriage or a commitment, there is an opportunity that you're considering. But for others of you, if you are single and there is an offer, you could still also be feeling like you're not too sure if this is something that you want to take because maybe you're really valuing your independence. Okay, look, the seven of wands is here in the reverse. So this means that you could also be doing some soul searching around maybe where you have your guard up a little bit. Seven of Wands is where we feel quite defensive or quite guarded. That could be something that's coming up in your relationship dynamics that you're exploring now. Maybe you feel like you're a bit high, you're a bit hyper independent and it sort of gets in the way of you having harm, harmonious connections or commitments. Or for some of you, the Seven of Wands in the reverse is like you are feeling like you're lacking persistence in a situation with someone where maybe there is a stable commitment, but it's like you don't feel like you want to persist towards that. I know I'm jumping around, but I am now getting a couple of storylines here. The Hermit card really, in essence, it's soul searching. It's getting the answers from within. So either way, Sag, it's like the universe is calling for you to actually listen to your inner voice about what is going to be right for you. You can go your own way, going your own way, meaning like you can still be in a relationship, but you can still go towards what lights your fire and your passion, or you can go your own way by deciding that you don't want to be in a commitment or take an offer. Um, okay, so let me just get a little bit more on this. What's this page of cups? Ace of wands. I mean, there's an offer and opportunity here for something that does light your fire, Sag. Okay, take it as you will. Um, some of you, like I said, it could be that you're in a marriage or a long-term commitment and you're losing that persistence. You're losing that urge to invest in it, okay? It might be because there are difficulties there. Maybe you do feel that there's some patterns in that situation where someone's very guarded or you feel like it's very difficult even to connect. You know, if you've been in something for a long time, Sag, you might feel like this is no longer actually reflecting the truth of who you are or maybe you have felt like you have been on a soul searching journey and now where you're at is not matching to where you have been you understand what i'm saying um page of cups ace of wands and for others of you like i said there could be an opportunity here for something really exciting and passionate but 
you're doing some soul searching about whether you can open up to that at this point. Um, there's a nine of wands in the reverse and there's a seven of cups. So there's confusion and mixed emotions regardless. For those of you um, that might be already dealing with someone and have someone else, that seven of cups is more than one cup around. It's also like fantasy. It's also like thinking, hmm, you know, what's gonna light my fire or make me happy. Um, it also is, like I said, just confusion and, you know, nine of wands, but in the reverse, you are dealing with something, Sag. There's something here where you're having to look at some wounding, um, maybe that you've had for a long time, but you're working through and now you're emerging as a different kind of version of yourself. You're more connected to who you are because you've done quite a bit of healing work and that's impacting on you right now, as in if you can continue in, say, a relationship or a connection that you have been in for a while, um, or if you can open up to something for yourself. Um, either way, there's like healing here. And um, yeah, I think you're sort of just maybe a bit at a crossroads or maybe a bit confused um, about which way to head. Okay, Sag, anyway, I mean, I've got an Emperor card in the reverse. So for some of you, you know, um, you know, for some of you, you may not be in a commitment, but maybe you were in a commitment, Sag, and you're now independent and you're not sure if you're ready to move towards an offer. There's something on the table, Sag, Page of Cups, Ace of Wands. It's something new. It's something exciting, but you have mixed feelings about it, okay? Um, the Emperor card in the reverse, you could be dealing with um, some old wounding in relation to an Emperor energy. If you were married or if you are married, there's an Emperor card here. An Emperor in the reverse is someone that's maybe in a bit of a distorted, again, not gender specific, but this is distorted masculine energy. Um, even if you are the man and you're dealing with a woman, you know, this could be someone that you feel is very controlling, can be a bit tyrant type energy, or it can be someone that isn't able to really open up their heart. The Emperor card is also a father figure. So maybe again, like you're dealing with a person where there's children involved, or this could be issues coming up around dad, where you're starting to have an understanding where maybe there was wounding that um, was playing into your relationship dynamics, making you very guarded or defensive. And now you're thinking about whether you can drop your guard to move forward for reigniting your passion, your confidence, moving in, you know, onto new things, new opportunities. Um, yeah, I mean, for a lot of you, I think that there's some kind of a connection or a past connection that's still, it's reflecting a wounding to you that you're working through. And so now you're reassessing where you want to go with that, if that makes sense, right? You're in hermit mode a little bit, trying to process some things that are coming up. And it might not be coming up just based on your interactions in the physical. It just might be that you've hit a point in your journey where things are starting to like the pieces are coming together and you're starting to understand yourself on a deeper level. Okay, Sag, I know all my reads this round have been very like high level, but it seems to be that there's a lot of spiritual growth going on in the collective. Yeah, there's a six of swords in the reverse. There's something that you have not been able to move on from or leave behind. Um, so if you are still in a marriage or in a, some kind of a, a commitment with a person, or still very connected to a person, you haven't been able to completely leave or move on because I feel like there's still that lesson that you haven't completely mastered and now you're sort of in the process of mastering that. I mean, maybe it's also like if you are committed to someone, you need to understand this in order to even move forward in a better direction. Um, you know, seven of wands, like to be able to actually drop your guard and have something that's more, you know, Six of Swords is about moving into calmer waters, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, and for some of you, it's like an understanding that if you want to move towards passion, new opportunities, passion, new path in love, you've got to move away from this energy. Either move away from this person, if you're still dealing with this person, or the energy that was, you know, dealt with in this situation that was reflecting something that you actually need to work on within yourself. I mean, I've got a queen of swords and a nine of pentacles and an eight of cups. Okay. So Sag, for a lot of you, you're starting to see very clearly queen of swords, what you want to cut away, what's been. So for some of you, you are cutting off a person that you're seeing is connected to an old wound. Okay. Even if it's your past, but you haven't processed it, you're, you're doing the processing or you're doing that with a person. Now you're, you're deciding finally that you want to maybe go your own way, nine of pentacles. Eight of Cups, walk away from what's not serving you. Okay, there's something here about you reclaiming your power, your truth, your independence. 
and going about things in a new way. Queen of Swords, your truth. So who you are at the core, um, maybe working through self-esteem issues that you've had or you know, low self-worth. Queen of Swords also is where you've maybe, you know, when she's balanced, she's pretty discerning and she also has very good boundaries. Maybe something that's something that you've struggled with before in this other dynamic or this dynamic. Okay, Sag, um, I'll get a little bit more on it. I might get some cross energies on what this King of Wands, sorry, the Emperor in the reverse is all about. But yeah, let me see with that Queen of Swords. Yeah, you want to come unstuck and things that were previously unclear are becoming very clear. The Two of Swords is willful blindness. So maybe for some time you've kind of been going about things the same way or staying in something for a long time without looking at the reality of the situation or without sort of seeing how it's connected to you and what you need to change for yourself to move forward in a better direction. But there's a real coming unstuck here, Sag. So this is like cutting away a situation, cutting away the past, seeing things from a new perspective, seeing things clearly. I do have a 10 of pentacles in the reverse, which can be a breakdown in a family unit, something that you were building or hoping to build for the long term. It can also be family dynamics that you've inherited that you're realizing now much more clearly have led to a certain pattern that you keep repeating or a certain type of energy that you keep attracting because maybe you had a relationship with someone that was mirroring your wounds or is mirroring your wounds okay sad um ten of pentacles in the reverse wow okay so let me just take a look at this situation with this emperor card here emperor in the reverse tower okay so this is a, a blow up so either this is happening now between someone that you're in a commitment with sad or you had this with a person but it's like the energy there's the residue and you're still in the process of letting go tell me about this person's feelings towards sagittarius please spirit okay five of wands there's a lot of conflict energy between you and this person so you could have in, had in your time with them or currently a lot of conflict drama butting heads that kind of thing three of swords in the reverse they want to get past some kind of pain or heartache um hierophant so a lot of you this is a person yes you've been in a commitment with or you are still currently in some kind of a commitment with um we've got the four of wands as i said that four of wands okay so this is about marriage long-term commitments this could be some kind of a wanting to reconcile reconcile issues because the three of swords is in the reverse so this could be about wanting to get past some pain with you or if you have taken a step back and you are separated um, then this is about coming out of separation but there's a lot of conflict here so you know that's a five card so things would need to change and then I've got a king of swords in the reverse wow king of swords in the reverse with a queen of swords um, in the upright so king of swords uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini energy some of you you could feel or this person feels about you that there's a lack of honesty or truth we're talking a lot about truth so there's something about authenticity here or showing up um, you know and being upfront about what you need what you want what you desire so either this person feels that they can't really do that with you or you're in that energy where you don't and it causes a lot of friction a king of swords in the reverse is not the nicest energy sag it can be someone that like i said maybe you're dealing with someone that can be kind of cruel or mean um or controlling or manipulative or a king of swords in the reverse is an energy of saying one thing and not following through it can be fickle um but with all this defensive energy, Sag, maybe you feel like you can't drop your guard with this person because there is this defensiveness and maybe there's an element of this person triggering a wounding that you have. Um, maybe this person feels like you trigger their wound where they feel they can't be authentic. So again, it could be both ways. I don't like to blame people or name names. I think everything's a mirror, guys. So let's look at the five of wands. The judgment, there's a sense of someone here feels very judged. Maybe they feel like you judge them or maybe you feel they, they feel like you judge them or you feel like they judge you, right? Um, let's have a look at the five of wands. And there's a seven of swords in the reverse. There's a lot here around dishonesty, Sag. So either that's just the energy that comes up because you both not feeling you both have a wall up and you don't feel like you can really be your true selves or the seven of swords in the reverse i have to say you could have a history with this person of deceptions um seven of swords in reverse maybe there has been conflict or drama where someone got caught out for something okay 
maybe Saj, that's you. I mean, there's a passionate opportunity around you and maybe this person feels like, you know, they don't have all your attention. Maybe they react by trying to be controlling. I don't know. Um, I'm just telling you whatever comes through, but yeah. Uh, the magician card in the reverse. There's some kind of a level of manipulation here. Magician card in the reverse. Okay, so someone here feels manipulated. I feel like you probably feel quite kind of manipulated by this person, but maybe they do feel that way about you. I don't know. Or maybe there's a lot of this trying to provoke a reaction from you. Um, Oops, and then the Ace of Wands in the reverse, yeah. So Sag, you may have lost passion with this person or they could sense that you're not attracted or passionate about them anymore. I feel that this person, if you do have someone else around you, Sag, then there is a strong suspicion that you do, I have to say, or you've been caught out for that. Um, or you've caught this person out for that. There's a loss of passion and this is why you're exploring something else. But there seems to be some conflict around um, suspicion, perhaps third party energies, five of wands is competition, outside influences. And then I've got a six of pentacles in the reverse. So this is like a bit of codependent energy. Um, this person might feel like they don't get as much attention from you or vice versa. There's also maybe financial matters at play. And then I've got an ace of cups in the reverse. So this person's really feeling like they're losing you or the love is lost. Ace of wands, ace of cups. But there is a sense of tradition here with the Hierophant card, commitment, tradition, traditional values. Maybe you feel like this person is extremely like focused on tradition or religion for some of you, that could be the case. Um, but then there seems to be a lot of stuff indicating though that there's some things going on that don't feel quite kosher. I don't know, Sag, <laughs> that just went way out there anyway. But you know, I think that coming back to what I said, and advice from spirit with the hermit card. This is about you sort of just taking a step back and going within and consider what's going on and understand what it's telling you about who you are now maybe versus who you were when you connected with this situation initially, how you've grown, what is your truth? Are you able to embrace that moving forward or are you just ready to completely cut this off? Even just energetically, even if you have separated from this person, this could be a lingering thing and you have to deal with what's come up in this situation to move forward for new, which I think is there, it's presenting for you or you're already dealing with it. But there seems to be lessons wrapped up in this around sort of your confidence, your self-worth, your sense of self, that kind of thing. Um, so let me get you some Mystic Black Rose pain. Yeah, pain and that also has putting up a wall on the card, okay? Let's see. Okay, last, non-committal sexual energy tragedy. Something's gone on here, Sag, okay? Seven of swords in the reverse and five of wands and either on your end or their end or both ends, I'm just saying. Um, toxic, unhealthy, nasty behaviors, right? Poison, mm. pursuit, chasing, resilience. So this person, they could still be, you know, pursuing you. Like I said, I mean, I think there's this sense of maybe they want to fight for your attention. I'm getting a lot of ego, especially when they feel like maybe they've lost the you've lost passion for them or there's, you're not attracted to them anymore. Um, you know, you could also have someone else that's chasing you, Sag, as I said, I, I just feel like there's other cups or you're sort of now thinking about hmm, what else is out there and there could be someone else that's really pursuing you. Coffee date, as I said, that meeting up, dating multiple people or um, discussions. I mean, they may also be wanting to meet up to discuss things with you you're still dealing with this person in the present obsession clinging anxiety holding on yeah okay so for a lot of you who are still in this relationship marriage commitment even if separated like I said it's sort of like can I go my own way can I have independence or do I stay in a situation where maybe I feel like I don't have independence maybe there's a lot of this kind of controlling behavior um, obsession it's like clinging Maybe you just feel like it's very difficult to assert your yourself and your independence in the situation that you're in. You could feel like this person, that they smother you or something. I've got completely done. Moving on, ending cycles, lessons learned, coming full circle. And then I've got mask, pretending, putting up a front, not genuine. There's something that feels not genuine or that you feel like you can't be your genuine self. Okay, or you feel this person's not genuine, king of swords. 
So um, look, Sag, I don't know. <laughs> I see for a lot of you, you're done. Like it's like time to walk away from something that's not fulfilling, time to embrace the new um, children. But maybe for some of you, children are involved here. But I'm getting for a lot of you also, childhood stuff is coming up for you to really look at and heal and release so you can actually move forward in your elevated state, you know, um, which I think you're all already doing. So. I'm not giving you a hard time. All right, Sag, I hope that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.